Welcome to our video on how to create a custom schematic visualization. In this video, you will learn how to create a schematic package, upload a package, and create and run a report. A schematic is a diagram showing a collection of shapes used to represent a spatial relationship. Schematics are implemented in IBM Cognos Analytics using tagged shapes or polygons in an SVG file. A few examples of schematics are airplane seat maps, concert, theater, and stadium seat maps, manufactured parts and assembly lines, and floor plan. Let's demonstrate this feature with a simple example. If we run the report named Shapes, we will see two schematics from the same bundle. We can see that there are two layers, regions and points, which are similar to the layers in the map visualization. There are also two custom views that show groupings of shapes. How to create a schematic package. Step one is to modify an SVG file with additional attributes. In reporting, use the schematic preview in the sandbox environment to create and customize the package. Step three is to upload the schematic package via Manage Customization Custom Visuals, set the appropriate properties for the package, and the final step is to create a report and add the custom visualization. A schematic package is a library of one or more images that share a common key strategy. The meta.json file defines what is in the package, it has a text description, an icon file, SVG files, and a name. One or more SVG files, and an optional image that represents the icon that's displayed in the visualization gallery, in page design view, and in the manage customization custom visuals tab. Note, users will never be required to know what is in the package because of the schematic package editor. An SVG file with polygon or path definitions is required. You modify the bracket G bracket tag, the path tag, or shape with attributes. The main attributes are data-cv-key equals, and then that's the name of a shape to match the actual data, and this one is mandatory. Then there's data-cv-view, which is used for grouping shapes or points, and this one is optional. And then there's data-cv-point-state, which will stop a point being drawn for a region, and this one again is optional. Its use is for schematics where a shape might be multi-part, but you only want one of the regions to host a point to represent the whole shape. Let's see what a simple modified SVG would look like after we open it in the text editor of our choice. Here is the mandatory attribute data-cv-key. It has been added to every shape that will be associated with data. In this example, there are four shapes. Here is the optional attribute data-cv-view. It is used to create custom groups using the bracket G bracket tag. In this example, there are two groups. Here is a new report. If we open the toolbox, we can drag a schematic preview object onto the canvas. We will switch to page preview so that we can create the package. We will fill in the slots with data for both regions and points. Next, we will add one or more SVG files.
Now we see a live preview of the first SVG image. We can switch between images. Switch between the different layers. And see the different views. Once we are satisfied, we can click the pencil icon to create the schematic package. Here are the two SVG files we selected. If we click the package tab, we can change the name and add a description. We can add an icon for the package and click OK. Now we can download the completed schematic package as a zip file. In order to use the downloaded schematic package, we need to first upload it to IBM Cognos Analytics. To do that, we click Manage, Customization, Custom Visuals, and click the Custom Visual Upload button. Here we can see the icon we specified and the options that are available for this object. Now we are going to create a new report. We can add a visualization to the canvas. In the visualization gallery, click Custom, select the one we want, and click OK. We can populate the visualization with data. In the properties, under SVG Reference, we can change it to Shapes 2 to show the second SVG. We can switch to Page Preview to see how it looks. Finally, we can run the report. And see how it renders. Thank you for watching our video on how to create a custom schematic visualization. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about using IBM Cognos Analytics 11.